Hey y'all. Uh, well, looks like I found it. Here you go. Uh, Evolution. <laughs> Climate, a standalone game. It's by North Star Games. And um, it's uh, expensive, but I think it's actually what I've been looking for. Uh, something to turn into like a video game with um, Internet of Things. So it says, um, in a dynamic ecosystem where climate swings can eliminate sources of food and bring out predators, your species must adapt to survive. Give your species a long neck to get food that no one else can reach. Evolve a coat of heavy fur for protection against the bitter ice age. Or grow horns to dissuade packs of uh, carnivores from making you their next meal. With over 200,000 ways to adapt your species, every game of evolution climate unfolds in a beautifully unique way. So gather your friends and see what who best adapts to the changing world around them. So it's like it's like starts with freezing, which would be in real life like a nuclear winter or um, something like that. Yeah, and then uh, up here would be oh okay, this could be an asteroid uh, impact. Right, meteorite. That's like a nuclear bomb. If you're an animal, um, that's the equivalent of a nuclear bomb. Uh, so that's freezing. And then um, I guess they're happy that that happened. I don't know. And <laughs> and then this is scorching. So scorching would be, I guess, a fire maybe. Um, warmth, like a fire. Um, scorching. I guess that's a card. Um, then you can actually. It's expensive, obviously. Um, but you can actually like evolve so maybe you want to get a long neck if it gets cold to like reach higher trees or like heavier fur because it's cold horns to like so shit doesn't fuck with you um, or like frills to like attract people um, but this is really interesting this game it's called um, Lane just tuned in but it's actually like I think this could be turned into like a video game basically like Pokemon Go like around water and stuff and like tree is health and stuff like in like a physical space like a city it's like Gita Bor I'm thinking like Gita Bor's war Gita Bor's the game of war sorry Gita Bor's the game of war which would be like class war and then so like you have like rich sections of the city and like poor and then you want to like discern how to redistribute the water like new strategies new ways of actioning uh, making actions see evolution so it's evolution uh, climate. And this could be in the world. So it's a North Star game. Uh, then there's like, you know, just to show you again, there's the temperature of like cold, uh, and then like the dial, and then like to get hot, you know? And so people will be able to play like natural strategies. And what would be fun is actually to see if like, you could like bring more animal, um, human versions of that. Of the, I'm gonna, I'm saving up money for this. This is gonna be a good investment. Um, I really think this is actually a neat thing because I think the investment is worth it to like study this game really well. Mainly because it can like go together with like Gita Bor's Game of War and like other sort of games like that. And I think that's like where human intelligence cooperatively can, we can see how the game evolves and it'll shape like how we discern how to be good water protectors these days um, with peaceful means. And, uh, well, it's kind of a breakthrough. You know, like the dinosaurs, is the Anthropocene. Learning to live in the Anthropocene means cooperation. <laughs> oh dear, I've learned that the hard way a lot of times, but. Um, so we can avoid the, the evil empire. You know.